It was in a cornerstone um, in the 1951 courthouse. There was um, indications in newspaper stories written at the time that there, they had put a, a time capsule in, but I think until they started taking the building apart that they're really, you know, is when they discovered that, oh yes, there was a time capsule here. We took it to the Nelson Atkins Museum. They have an x-ray machine that just kind of gave us a, a high level view of what might be in here. And that's what led Paul to say, okay, we can open this box, but we're gonna have to do it with scissors. He had a little crowbar, as opposed to taking a torch to it. Paul Benson, who is a local objects conservator, he um, formerly with the Nelson Atkins, um, he opened the box for us. There's a program from the Olathe Rodeo. The other program is from the model airplane meet that was held at Olathe Naval Air Station. And inside was an old settlers program from 1948. There's an Olathe phone directory from 1950. Facts about long distance service, station to station calls. And then there's the Gardner News from 1951. The Board of County Commissioners owns the collection. But the museum staff, we're the stewards of the collection, so we have a process that we need to follow. So we need to have um, these items legally, so to speak, transferred over to our stewardship and ownership. And from there, we will work it into our workflow as to when we bring in um, a conservator. We work with a local paper conservator to kind of come in and look at the contents and say, okay, staff, you can open this stuff on your own. There's nothing complicated here that needs our attention. But for some of these packages, especially the ones that were sealed in wax, I would want um, them, this, that person there. We look to those um, experts to kind of guide us in how we're gonna open up these.